Welcome back, everybody. The Knights of Heroes Foundation was created to support many good things, especially the families of military members killed in the line of duty. They teach children to face challenges in life and not allow fear to hold them back from achieving their goals. And there also are three degree guarantee recipients presented by Wired at Home Services. And joining me this morning with more is founder Stephen Harold and owner of Wired at Home Services, Trent Urban. Welcome morning. to you both. Morning. Morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I want to start off by asking what the purpose is for the Knights of Heroes. And Stephen, you'd be the one to answer that. Uh, well, as you mentioned before, uh, we bring children who have lost a parent in military service up to our camp facility and we just offer them opportunities to challenge themselves, to get outside of their comfort zone, to do things they've never done before, shoot guns, uh, do archery, rock climbing, whitewater rafting, anything that would take them out of their shell and teach them that they can overcome whatever um, challenges they face in life and they shouldn't allow fear or um, hesitation to hold them back from achieving their goals in life. Oh, I think that is absolutely wonderful. And that can really make a big difference in the lives of so many children. So who would you say is your target audience for this? Uh, well, we work with the children of the fallen military and we've uh, recently expanded our services to offer opportunities for children living in group homes around Colorado Springs to come up to um, our facility and do those activities as well. Because these, mm -hmm. these children um, aren't uh, suitable for, for placement in foster care in some cases, and so they don't have a lot of opportunity to interact with um, you know, positive adult mentors, and so we bring them up there and, and allow them opportunities as well. I see, so what are your future goals for the future of this program? Um, we, uh, we're really excited where we're at right now. We have an amazing 150 acre camp facility uh, up near Victor, Colorado, and so we've we brought that facility up to a world-class standards. Um, We've got a huge audience um, that we're working with, uh, a couple hundred military families, and, and like I mentioned, foster kids down here in the Springs. Um, what we're really focusing on now is, is staying engaged with the kids after they graduate out of our program. Okay. Um, we've got uh, about 100 kids that have gone through the full program and are now back working with us on staff. Uh, we've offered up internship programs now this summer. And so keeping engaged with, with those, uh, now young adults as they venture into college and off into you know careers and so forth just making sure they understand that we're still there for them and there to support them i think that is awesome so for families watching this morning whether they want to contribute and help or maybe somebody wanting to learn more information how can we learn more about the foundation uh, you can visit our website uh, knightsofheroes.org uh, read all about us there they can reach out contact us um, through Facebook or um, through phone calls or email and all that contact information is on our website. Okay, so that's simple. Go on that website, learn more about the Knights of Heroes Foundation, which I think does tremendous work, especially in a place like Colorado Springs that's so military involved. Now I'm going to direct over to you, Trent, because you come on our show all the time to do yes. amazing things like giving this check to deserving organizations. Why did you choose Knights of Heroes Foundation? Well, any time you can com uh, combine two things that are so important to myself and our organization, which is kids and military, and you can make a difference, hopefully before it's too late, you can make a difference in their lives. And Steve was sharing with me before we came on here how many, uh, you know, kids that went through the program that they're not totally sure, you know, what difference that made, but then here these kids come in and they start sharing back and they share their story back with Steve and his team. Yeah. It's it's obvious they're making a massive difference. And then, you know, you combine in the natural beauty we have here in Colorado with their facility, mm -hmm. and you get to take these kids out and camp. Steve was telling me about how some of them are learning how to filter water straight out of the stream. Wow. Just things they would have never had an experience doing if it weren't for, or, you know, for his team. So we're just here to help where we can. And so getting in front of all the viewers, sharing that message, and hopefully they'll contribute to Steve's team as well. I you love know, it. That's, well, we're doing all we can, you know. Absolutely. Well, Wired at Home Services, of course, always doing a lot of work for the community. And now it's time. I know you have a check to present to Stephen. All right, let's take okay. that out. Okay. Stephen, that is for you to continue awesome. doing the work that you guys do right here in Colorado Springs, along with Wired at Home Services and Fox 21, of course. We uh, commend you 
for taking care of those children out there. So thank yeah. you both for being with us this morning. Thank you, Steve. And of course, thank to thanks. learn more, knightsofheroes.org. G, all that info up on your screen, and we would like to thank Wirenet Home Services for sponsoring this segment this morning. Thank you both, gentlemen. Thank you.